welcome to iClone Certified Training. I am ICT4, your host. This tutorial focuses on facial animation, the puppeteering panel, First, we'll start by focusing on the puppeteering panel. Add an avatar into your scene. I'm going to go ahead and grab Dylan. I have him saved without any hair, so you can clearly see his facial expressions as we create custom facial animation using the puppeteering panel and face key. That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to import a WAV file to add some facial animation to our character. Do this by going to the Animation tab, Facial Animation, and then selecting the Open button. You can then easily navigate to your wave, and then apply that to your character. When a wave file is applied to a character for facial animation, this data will be viewed and automatically applied in the Vicime track on the timeline. To view that, simply open your timeline, and then select the face tab. This will make your Vasime expression and facial layer track visible. Notice that there's nothing on expression yet because we can create expressions for our characters in a variety of ways. The first and easiest way is the expression style. You can quickly add an expression style to your entire facial animation by scrolling through the selection, choosing a mood, and then select your expression strength and then double click to apply to the avatar. Notice that expression data will automatically be applied to the expression track on the timeline. As you can see, Dylan is now pretty happy. So that's one easy way to create expression. However, for a higher level of control, and more precise animation, you'll want to become familiar with the puppeteering panel. To open the puppeteering panel, simply click the puppet button in the modify panel. You'll notice that you have eight different categories of puppet profiles to choose from. Each puppet profile has six different facial controls capable of producing any combination for you to select and then begin creating expressions with. There's also a new and ninth feature called the solo feature, but we'll get into that in a minute. First I'm going to select the first category, man, and notice that there are six expression controls. General, smiley, angry, sad, happy, and scared, each one also having a corresponding hotkey to instantly apply the selection to the puppeteering panel. How the puppeteering panel works is you can select a face control which will isolate a portion of your avatar's face, in this example just the eyes and the eyebrow areas, then click preview and your spacebar to begin. Once you click your spacebar, you can move your mouse and begin to puppeteer your avatar. As you can see, your avatar can create many different expressions by simply moving the mouse. So let's try a different face control. Press preview again, and then click your spacebar to begin. And as you can see, Dylan is creating a completely different facial expression now based on the other face control that was selected. In the case of the angry face control, you can see that we can preview this as well and get a pretty drastically angry example of an expression automatically by clicking and dragging our mouse around the viewport. Using face controls to quickly select areas of the face to animate for expression creation is a quick and easy way to do this. However, some facial controls that share the same name or expression, such as angry, will be different varied by the category that you choose. For example, if you're on the male category, the angry expression will be different than if you are in the woman category. If you select that category and then select the woman face control, you'll see that the selection varies 
from the male face control for angry. Allow me to demonstrate the difference between the male face control for angry and the female face control for angry. As you can see, they will give you two completely different expressions. So keep that in mind. However, solo features can also be selected individually. Now let's talk a little bit more about the solo feature puppet profile. You can select eye blinking, eyeball movement, head orientation, head tilting, jaw movement, as well as muscle movement. But first, let's preview the head tilting. This is a quick way to create some head movement for your character without the need of a dummy object. Utilizing the head orientation and head tilting tools together will create natural head movement for your avatars while speaking faster and easier than ever before inside of iClone. With the puppeteering panel, you can make multiple passes of your animation and record each pass as you go, allowing you to focus on individual areas one at a time. I will now show you how to do this by clicking record and then once I click record and hit the space bar I will actually be recording the selected face control area. Click record and then move your mouse or click your mouse to make your avatar blink Once you're finished, press spacebar once again. You have now recorded that pass of your animation. Hello. How are you? Welcome to iClone 4. I'll return to the beginning of my project, select eye movement, and then select record and spacebar once again. I will move my mouse now to create some eye movement for my eyeballs, getting my character to actually look around the scene. When I'm finished, I'll simply click spacebar. This is my second pass. Hello. How are you? Welcome to iClone 4. For my third pass, I'll actually move the head around using the head orientation tool or face control. Select record and spacebar and then begin puppeteering the character's head from left to right and up and down. This is pass number three. Hello, how are you? Welcome to iClone 4. For pass number 4, I'll use the head tilting tools. Select record once again, and then spacebar to start, and then spacebar to stop. Once you're pleased with the head tilting you have added. And this is pass number 4. Hello, how are you? Welcome to iClone 4. For pass number 5, I'm going to select the youthful puppet profile and a happy face control to create some smiling for my Dylan avatar. This will be the last pass for my facial animation using the puppeteering panel. Now I've combined all of those expressions, and that is now on the expression track in the timeline. For more tips and tutorials, please be sure to visit www.realusion.com.